we got Yogi here visiting from the US and I heard a little rumor that you might be liking American football just a little bit. Yeah, you know, just a tap. I brought you to the Israeli big leagues in this little stadium just behind the parking lot over there. Let's go check it out. The Kraft Family Israel Football League, it's been around for 10 years. There are eight adult teams and nine youth teams, and I have no idea. Finally, football has made its way to Israel, so let's get out. Let's do it. Hut, hut, hut. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. They're ready. The best match that we'll take today. Let's protect Israel! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Receiving gear! The league started 10 years ago. There was a group of Israelis just playing in the park, and there were a group of Americans playing flag football. They all came together and decided to play the real thing. We are very, very proud and very grateful to be sponsored by the Kraft family. They're building the first full-size, real American football stadium. People who play football understand that it's not just like you're playing a sport, it's like a, it's a lifestyle, it's, it's a passion. As a Jew and someone who's pretty Zionistic, Israel is like the best opportunity I got. Just wanted to travel, like get out of America, just graduated college. And my friend played for the contact within a couple weeks, catching some balls, man. Football, while it is different, in basketball you could have one or two great players, but in this game, all 11 have to do their job. If you're not doing your job, then I'm going to be able to execute that against you all day long. I can see some fans just over there. It's definitely not the toughest ticket in Tel Aviv right now, but they got the best seat in the house. They need some chili, there's definitely yeah. some chili going on here. This is our first time. First time? Can you show me a chili to move? I used to go to soccer games uh, with my dad when I was young, but we stopped going because people were cursing all the time and there was a lot of bad atmosphere. Three of my boys are playing today for the Petak Tikva Troopers. You got a couple boys on the team, huh? I have three playing with me right now, but I'm proud of all this team. You know, we've got Arabs, we've got Christians, we've got Jews, and it's an attitude you try to put into them that you're a family. You're teaching them how to be part of something bigger than themselves. I love football for that reason. You gotta deal with the good thing, you gotta get better blocking from our tight end. We're playing hard, we're playing hard, we're here to have fun. When I found out there was IFL League out here, I jumped all over it. How old are you? I'm 41. It's my daddy right now. 41. <laughs> Playing ball. Absolutely. You got some kids? Four of them. We got 42 and 22. We got kids. We got straight out of college. One thing we do have, we have the power of play. We all speak ball. It's really football league. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't not now. You Come on. Fellas, first off, thanks for having us here today. We all speak ball, right? We all speak ball. Where you came from, what color you are, where your religion is, what your race is, it doesn't really matter. So I think that this game and this league has the ability to be a great example for people across the globe. The game can bring people together, it can divide them, but I think the sport of football can unite like no other sport in the history of the planet. I can't wait to come back here in a year, in two years, in five years, and there's 5,000, 20,000, 50,000 people coming to watch you guys play ball in the greatest sport in the world. Yeah. 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 Yeah.